assassins in the bathroom? Good, because I want to get started now and I need to freshen up first. There are no windows in there, but that is the only reason I am letting you close this door. So you're telling me that every time I need to use the bathroom, you're gonna have to look around first? Like someone could sneak past you, of all people? Trying to play with my ego won't work here, Carrots. I'm just making sure you understand that the rules haven't changed. There isn't exactly a lot of room in here as it is. You should just sleep in my bed for all the space you're giving me. As long as you keep the door open. I don't think we'll need to go that far. If you can't, you'll just wake up one morning missing a door. Might be better if I, this particular officer didn't see me. Be careful. Well, good afternoon, Kitsi. Lieutenant Weaselton, Miss Hoops, right? Judith, Judith Hops. Hops, right, well... You're already big in the news, shitty, in the, sh in the shitty hop, hoops. Big news, it seems you've been on TV, which is why you're here today. A murder was committed. I want to, wanted to know if you could tell me where to find the fox. You know, I want to live you off at the scene with the killer. As a, as a witness to the act of self-defense that has no doubt been seen by an every news-watching mammal in the city, we both know that the murder will never cross the prosecutor's desk. And I assume that you also have come with a signed warrant to enter this office. As a guest of the administrator, it is not reaching outside of the bounds of law to assume that I am protected under the same laws as the citizen of Zootopia. You really, th you really should consider who you want to be your friend in this shitty hoops. I know who my friends are in the city, Lieutenant Wuzzleton. It's Weaselton! Lieutenant Duke Weaselton! I insist that you produce a warrant, Lieutenant. Otherwise, I'm gonna ask you to leave. Listen, Cottontail, I don't know, I know you think you know what's going on in the city, but you don't. The mammals, there are mammals in the streets, a predator and predator and prey, they would love to get your, their paws on a cute little bunny like you. Um, all such a nasty and speak what things could happen if you don't choose your friends carefully. Lieutenant. Quiet. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, you stupid hick? You're in my city now, and there are people who are, would be, hap more, be more than happy to pick your bones clean and make you disappear. Don't touch me or threaten me. I've had enough warnings and speeches for one day. And I'm not about to let you come in here and imitate me 
by baring your teeth and flashing your badge. Yeah, Ugh. No need to panic, Lieutenant. We're all friends here. The way I see it, you're right. The city ain't is dangerous, and since you seem to be so aware of how dangerous it could be for Miss Hops, I am counting on you to do what you can do to keep her safe. I know. I know. The ZPD can't officially get involved, but I have a feeling that won't matter. All you have to do is let me know if you catch wind of someone plotting against the bunny there. You see, Lieutenant, my, it's my job to protect her, and I know that I can count on you to help me keep her safe. Because I don't know exactly who to go to if she were to vanish. And if anything were to happen to keep, that would have kept her, to her that could have been prevented with a little common sense, I know who exactly will hear my grievance at the ZPD. You might want to take him to the hospital, kick him to the groin, and a taser shot like that just can't be good for you. Are you going to give me another speech about how dangerous things are in this city? Not while you're holding that taser. Good. Because we have work to do. 